Hey guys, Emily V here for another video. Um, today I wanted to talk about something that not a lot of people would probably openly talk about. So the first thing that everyone needs to know about the surgery is that they're not just, um, I'm gonna be blunt, like they're not just removing your previous genitals, like they're not cutting your dick off, so to say. Um, that's something that a lot of the not good people like to uh, comment on trans people's content is like, oh, you could go get your dick cut off. I was like, that's like, that, that's the, that's the go-to uh, diss. Um, but I mean, if if they knew like the actual process of how it works, you could probably think of some way better jokes, um, to be honest, because like the reality of it is even more like wild and crazy. It's like, holy shit, what the fuck? It's crazy. Um, so it's like they go to incredible lengths to um, leave you with an end product that is um, virtually uh, undistinguishable from uh, someone who has a vagina and hasn't had this surgery. We're dealing with something that is very incredibly similar to a cis vagina. So um, if you are healthy and you're not having any issues post-surgery, you should have a, a microbiome in your vagina uh, that roughly resembles that of a cis woman. Uh, that means the same type of bacteria colonies are existing there, um, and that is largely what's responsible for uh, any smell, pleasant or otherwise, that uh, a vagina would have. Um, keep in mind that uh, foul-smelling odors are possible indications of infections or other health conditions um, and that comes with the surgery as well. You can get uh, like vaginitis and um, a lot of other uh, irritations and difficulties that um, cis women can face. So that's one thing uh, and that's important to know about too is like you need to know what to look out for to know if there's a problem. Uh, I want to talk about like if you're healthy, if you're okay but I can say for me personally so far, um, I've had a great improvement over time of, of that, I guess, scent uh, in that uh, it has developed and, and there wasn't really much of anything at the beginning. And, and now I'd say like, it's very healthy and, you know, very good. Um, I haven't had any issues post-surgery. I've been pretty lucky with not having any um, complications or, or, you know, medical difficulties with that. It's, it's been going pretty well. Uh, you can see my, my recovery update videos where I, you know, give a month to month breakdown slash update on the aftercare process. And you can see what things I'm struggling with and, you know, what's going on with me. Those are, they're kind of fun. Um, good if you are planning to have the surgery in the future, or if yours is, you know, coming up soon. Uh, these can help prepare you for the aftercare process. The only advice I could give is that if you can take probiotics uh, starting at about like three months after your surgery, then um, a lot of the surgeons do recommend that and it's been great for me. Um, I've noticed like a, a big a big improvement uh, since taking probiotics and that can help establish uh, a lot of the bacterial colonies that you need to have in place to have a healthy vagina and to make it even more personal I'm going to actually ask my my girlfriend who's uh, you know someone who's had close intimate contact with me since my surgery I'm gonna ask her to uh, you know tell you guys whatever her opinion is on the subject um, and uh, I asked her in advance to uh, be ready for that question, but uh, I didn't uh, want to hear what her answer would be or, or talk about it, so um, it'll be a surprise for me, so let's hope uh, this makes it into the video and it wasn't something horrible and then I cried for hours. Uh, okay, Lorraine, come on over, you can squeeze in here. So, um, my opinion, what the subject is about today, I would say it smells, from my opinion, 
very healthy like I noticed no odor I enjoy the smell of it um, it smells really really good to me and she's doing a really great job taking care of herself guys like she really is like it's got a really nice smell to it like it just smells so good you know like when you're oh, uh, <laughs> okay I think, I think in other words it's healthy <laughs> Thank you, Lorraine. Um, and thanks, guys, very much for watching this video. And please check me out at patreon.com slash DMR.